everybody. First, I want to thank you all for checking in with Nanny Gazette. This is our first video blog. I am Nanny Tara. And if you haven't checked out nannygazette.com, please come out and find us. We are a review magazine of all things in St. Louis right now related to mostly kids. Okay, hi again, everybody. Not sure where I just left off there. Um, you will find that I am at work. I am a nanny, for real, in the St. Louis area. And I frequently getting interrupted by the kids that I watch but they are not interruptions they are wonderful little joys and I will frequently stop my videos so that I can pay attention to them I want my videos to only take up two or three or five minutes total of my entire trip whenever I'm out and about but I still want you guys to get good reviews of all the places that we're going so that you can go and create memories with your little ones. I've Monkey Joe's quite a bit every time the kids get a break from school this is a place they always want to go um, my one big downfall maybe you can't hear me very well is that it is loud so now I'll give you guys a look at what some things are to do at Monkey Joe's. Hey guys, we may get better at the interruptions here. I was just going to give you a quick look around at uh, what Monkey Joe's has to offer. They have cubbies when you first come in. And then this little area over here is an infant area. Okay, that big ugly yellow trash can. Um, has a few toys and places where parents can sit if they need some quiet time. Uh, there are three uh, jumpers for kids ages three and under. And these are the only jumpers that parents are allowed on. They can't jump on them, but they can assist younger kids. Uh, my kids, they just love coming here, the kids that I watch, and they have no complaints at all. But it's one of the light party rooms, and for the person, it's just a big old green chair. There's another video of the bouncers. One of the big kids' bouncers, two of the big kids' bouncers. The one on the end is not an obstacle. And then one last final big slide. So again, this is our first video vlog and I hope you haven't been too annoyed by it. Um, I'm finding out that it's really hard to get just 30 seconds of alone time and to record these. Uh, the kids are having a blast. We've made it 45 minutes and we just now had to start doing the timed obstacle races to keep their interest. Uh, but we're having a good time and we'll talk back to you guys. It's $10 a child to play here and jump here so I usually try to keep them here about two hours and do what I can to keep them entertained. Uh, another great thing is that there are four giant obstacle bouncers, so they often go back and forth between the four and see how, how fast they can do it and race themselves. Um, the downfall to that is that parents aren't allowed to join them, so a lot of the times I feel like I'm kind of being left out of their fun, but they're enjoying it, so that's all that really matters. Um, there's lots of seating for parents, and some stand next to the bouncers, and some sit and just watch and wait for the kids to come back. Uh, there is free Wi-Fi here, so you can come on your work days whenever you're trying to work from home. Uh, I've seen a lot of people with computers sitting around doing that too. A um, couple little pointers are if you're wanting to prolong your stay here at Monkey Joe's, um, let the kids run around and do whatever they want first. A uh, little information, each obstacle only takes about 30 seconds, so they're going to get bored if you don't come up with some kind of game plan and you don't want to hear them saying every 10 minutes, when do we leave? Are we finished yet? Um, and make the most out of your time and enjoy your experience. So we start out letting them do whatever they want. Uh, and then after they kind of get bored a little bit, we'll move over and go get the game card. And that'll take about 10 or 15 minutes to play games. And then another five minutes or so to pick out prizes. Um, sometimes they get a snack, sometimes they don't. Like I said, there's not a lot of good food choices for us here. Uh, but there is a lot of junk food and treats and things, so if this is your treat day, have, all, uh, have at it, you know? Enjoy the day, make those memories, eat whatever you want. Um, and then after we play games and do that for a little bit, then we come back to the bouncers. Uh, they play for about five minutes on their own, and then they're usually asking me for some kind of obstacle or game to do. Uh, so we time them on each obstacle course and have them go, and then we... Uh, do an obstacle relay where we do all four obstacles um, and time each one and then have them beat their time. So that'll take up about five minutes to do those relays if they switch sides and do each obstacle two times to get through it. So I guess we'll be talking to you later. Bye. So here's a little bit of a better look at Monkey Joe's game section. It's really not that bad. We did have a $10 game card today. And as long as they take things that play for tickets, they can get a few tickets and get a couple of little toy prizes at the end. We did some games that went by really fast, so you could make that draw out longer if you did ski ball and stuff like that. And then they have this little prize counter uh, with prizes starting up at five tickets. 
all the way up to like 300, 400 tickets. Um, these kids like to do a lot of the things where they were going to win the balls and stuff like that, so they lost out on some of their tickets that way. But uh, even doing the $10 card, they were able to get 90 tickets, so they were split 35. And it was a pretty good time. It was kind of fun. I'm gonna try to wrap this up without laughing too much. I wish I could redo a lot of those videos, but like I said earlier, this is about experiencing the place and not spending a lot of time on the reviews and on editing my own mistakes out. Uh, so if I could say the three most positive things about Monkey Joe's is that they're... So I guess the top three, I think I was going over the top three things that I like about Monkey Joe's. One, they are open almost all the time. Two, you can jump as long as you want. There's no time limit. And three, three is that they're for a lot of different age ranges. Uh, infants, there's a room for the infants and a place for it to be quiet there. Um, there are bouncers for up to age three, so they don't have to bounce with the big kids. And there's four bouncers for older kids, so that's probably up to about age 12 is where I would guess they would get kind of disinterested in that. Um, and then the three downfalls, if I can think of three. One would be that you can't have any outside food here. Uh, I have to do gluten-free, and one of the kids I watch is kind of doing a gluten-free diet as well. Um, and so it's really hard to eat here. There's not a lot of selection as far as food goes in general. It's mostly pizza and chips and junk, uh, which works for a lot of people, but not really for us. Um, so I suggest eating before you get here, and especially if you have any food allergies, um, to make sure you fill up before you get here, you won't find too much on that scale. But they do have pizza and they have chips and they have pretzels and drinks and slushies and all kinds of those foods that you have if you're just doing this as a treat day. Um, the other downfall is that it's super noisy. Um, just the sound of the compressors and the air blowers and everything is loud enough and then the high ceilings with kids screaming. It is super noisy. So if you have kids that have sensory issues, it's probably not really the best place for them to go. Um, but it's very overwhelming even for an adult. Uh, and the third thing would just be that I can't interact with them, which is great if you're wanting to just send your kids out on a play date and let them get some energy out and hang out with another mom. It'd be great to just sit down and chat for a while. So I suggest Monkey Joe's, especially the one down here in Crestwood. We've been coming here for maybe six or seven years now. So we love it and check us out at nannygazette.com and we will have more reviews of all things local and let you know how we like everything we go and do. Thank you, bye. Okay, vlog one, that was rough. If you made it all the way to the end, wow, thanks. We like you so much. Come and like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and everywhere else and subscribe to our YouTube channel because you're a trooper for making it through that. And most likely if you made it through that, you're my mom, hi mom, or my dad or my brother or my grandparents because they are my biggest supporters. Uh, that, was, that, was, that was awful, let's be real, that was awful. Uh, we'll get better. I'll get better, I think, I hope. So, thanks guys. Check us out, fannygazette.com. I guess I kind of left out my husband, but I didn't think he would make it to the end. Uh, he is definitely my biggest supporter, absolutely, positively. Uh, but I don't think he made it to the end of the video. Um, we'll find out if he gets this message. Uh, he probably would have turned it off and been like, okay, we're not being you in that video. So, we'll work on that. Bye guys!